There is a very clear sense of direction that uh, this government uh, has uh, demonstrated. And of course, we have to continue to provide the support that Liberia so richly deserves. Local law enforcement needs the training and resources to do its job. And I am proud that the United States will be expanding its commitment to work with the government of Liberia, the United Nations, and other partners to continue and complete the development of an effective, democratic, inclusive police force here in Liberia. Then uh, they had a democratically elected president in Liberia, in person of uh, Madame Johnson Salif. And Madame Johnson Salif then wrote a letter that he want, she wanted uh, Charles Taylor. And I personally took that letter to him in Calabar, where he was. I said, look, here is your president requesting for you to come back. Um, you think about it? We will provide every assistant to get you back. And he said, let me think about it. Then, by, by the time he could come back to me, he had left Calabar where he was, because he was really not under detention. Mm -hmm. Obasanjo, the former president of Nigeria, who I must submit, I would still want to consider a friend if he chooses to come before the world and tell the truth, Obasanjo knew that I was traveling, where I was going to and when. So it's not true that he was misled? No. Because that's the argument that was made, that he was misled at the time. That misled he was taken by He was taken by soldiers or rather um, security officers who were, was guarding him at the time and all of a sudden they left him along the road? No, 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 no. Yeah. That, was not, that was not true. Now, he then decided to leave on his own, and um, he left and decided to go northwards, because if he wanted to cross the border, Calabar, from Calabar to the border with Cameroon would not have taken him more than 45 minutes less than an hour. Um, but he went up to was Lake Chad. And I was, in fact, out of the country. And um, the Americans were furious. It was the Americans who put pressure on uh, President Johnson Sirleaf to request for, and to break even their own uh, assurance that they gave to us, and to request or to put pressure on uh, the president of Liberia to request for uh, Charles Taylor. And Charles Taylor will not allow us to actually either deliver him to uh, uh, Liberia or to anywhere else. So he decided to move on his own. When he got to the border between Chad and Nigeria, he was caught. Mm -hmm. And at that point in time, we had no choice but to deliver him. He was being escorted by Nigerian secret service, Nigerian security police, driven by Nigerians in a four-car convoy. Now, unless you judges and the world believes I am stupid, which I'm not, I could not have been escaping with Nigerian Secret Service, armed police, driven by them. In order for there to be peace and stability in Liberia, Charles Taylor needs to leave now. The important thing here is for international peacekeepers to come to Liberia as quickly as possible, if I'm going to step down from office. If I carried out what I had said I would do, everything would be done for this indictment to be squashed. They then instructed the president of Ghana. Who was that? 
a John Kufour to invite the British and American ambassadors because these were the two countries that had been pursuing this war against me of regime change. And we will get into that at some, at some other point. Uh, so the British and American ambassadors were called and were told by both the chairman of the African Union. Who was that? President Thabo Mbeki at the time. Mm -hmm. And the, president, the chairman of ECOWAS, John Kufour, that it was decided by the African Union and ECOWAS that if President Taylor stepped down, that this indictment would be squashed, and that this was a decision, and that ECOWAS and the African Union would pursue this. My understanding subsequent to that, it was pursued when Obasanjo told me during the period of the negotiations for mine going to Nigeria, that in fact he has spoken to all permanent five members of the United Nations and they had agreed that he famously, in fact in the statement said, I will not be harassed that tape exists, where they had told him that they would not harass him upon my move to Nigeria. And that is what I understood at the time. It's to the shame of this prosecution that it has besmirched the lofty ideals of international criminal law by turning this case into a 21st century form of neocolonialism. A civilian was killed in full public view, and then his body was disemboweled, and his intestines stretched across the road to make a checkpoint. Women and girls were raped in public. People were burned alive in their homes. The trial chamber finds beyond reasonable doubt that the purpose of these atrocities charged in counts two to eight was to instill terror in the civilian population. not guilty of all of these charges, not even a minute part of these charges. This whole case is a case of deceit, deception, lies. And, 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 and quite frankly, I cannot understand how some of these people were, were brought to the point, and may I just I stand corrected on this, to tell some of the lies that I have heard sitting over there. Is, I guess what you lawyer, you know, what you lawyers call incredulous. It's, it's impossible. I, I, whether I live a hundred years, it's impossible what I have heard here, where humans can come and in an organized faction lie, lie and lie and lie. I, 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 I just don't understand it. There is no way I am not guilty of any of these. Maybe the lesson is, if you're a sitting leader, and the international community wants to get rid of you. Either you get murdered like Colonel Gaddafi, or you hang on until the bitter end. I'm not so sure that's the signal this court ought to be transmitting at this particular historical juncture. I welcome this decision, but only if it means that that mode of liability will be applied equally across the board, whether you are the president of the United States or the president of Liberia. Uh, the, the court had the right to do what they, they, they did, but the way we did it, it made the other, other, other things difficult. For instance, when uh, we were trying to convince Connie to surrender to the 
Ugandan authorities. Thank <laughs> you.